Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out one of my favorite snares of all time. This is the Rogers Dy Dynasonic, the chrome over brass. This is the Big R model. The one before this was the Script logo model. This is a chrome over brass, like I said, 14 by 5, 5 uh, by 14, however you want to see it. Really, really nice shell, very clean. Comes with the original muffler, it comes with the tombstone throw-off. Comes with the uh, Rogers and also comes with the proprietary bridge snare system. This is really what set the Dynasonic snares uh, aside from a lot of the other snares at the time. This snare is from around circa 1979. This snare bridge, bridge system actually allows the snares, just the snares, to touch the head without it coming along the sides and creating muffling or somehow touching the heads here on the side that throws off the snares. It should not be tight against the bottom head, it should just literally be laying there. And this is a very, very versatile snare. You can play anything on this one, everything from jazz, Everything to funk to R&B, you can definitely do hard rock on this one and rock and roll. Just a awesome, awesome snare. A little tip that I can give you is look at the badge, and the badge, especially on the big R, is going to give, give away if it's made in the USA. If it does not say USA on the badge, it is made in Taiwan. The quality control definitely went down. Uh, I'm not saying they're, they're worse, but in a way I am saying they're worse. I would definitely recommend to get one that's made in the USA. The, the quality control was a little bit better. The materials, again, are a little bit better as well. So that's one thing that I can say about getting a Dynasonic snare. Is get a vintage one, but get one that's made in the United States. And you're also going to see it here on the throw-off as well. On the tombstone throw-off, it will say USA on there, meaning that it was made in the USA. It's going to actually say Rogers, I believe, on it too as well. Yes, it's going to say Rogers USA on the throw-off. Let's just say Roger USA on the badge. That's how you know you got one that was made in the States. So let's check out this snare. So now that I have my snare back on the stand, and you want to make sure again that the snare to bridge, sorry, the bridge system that's below the snare, that it's, you, you can almost give it a little bit of a wiggle. It shouldn't be too tight. It should obviously not be too loose. You'll obviously hear that when you're adjusting your snares. But that's what you want. You want, the second you tap that head, you want to hear a full snare response. As you can tell, it has a ring to it, that's that brass, but also being so shallow, being a five, it still has body to it, it has a lot of life, so it's just a fantastic snare. So this is the snare in medium tuning, kind of medium, medium high, the muffler on the inside has been turned off, just a very musical drum, let's give it a, a little try, here we go. Same thing with the internal muffler turned on. So obviously there on that second little try there, you obviously can hear that the overtones have definitely been reduced. Uh, still a lot of attack, a lot of lot of snare response, which is just beautiful, especially if you're doing bus rolls, if you're doing anything that's a little bit kind of fancy, if you're doing anything jazz related, just a fantastic responsive snare. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and try out this snare actually with an E-ring on it, and I'm going to turn off the internal muffler on it. So just the E-ring, and you're still going to hear a very, it's very, very fat, especially if you're doing a backbeat on it. So I'm going to do a backbeat, and then I'm going to do just the tip of the stick, and then I'm going to do the butt end of the stick, and then I'm going to do a rim shot with the butt end of the stick too, just so you guys can get a little feel for what this thing can do. So here we go.
show you what this snare can do with absolutely no muffling on it, just completely open. The, the muffler on the inside has been turned off, there's no dampening. So I'm going to go ahead and do a rim shot, back, a regular back beat, so to speak, with a rim shot. I'm going to do the center of the stick in the head. Without a rim shot, I'm going to turn the stick around, do the butt end in the center of the, of the snare, and then also do the butt end of the, cent and sorry, in the center of the snare with a back beat. And check it out, here we go. show you what the snare sounds like with just the muffler engaged and we're going to go through the same thing back beat with the center beat in the snare again a back back beat without a rim shot just the center of the stick in the middle of the snare I'm going to turn the stick around butt in the center and also butt in the center with a rim shot this is how this sounds 